Now in this video, we want to see how to go from a cross-tabulated frequency distribution into a joint probability table. And the reason we do that is because if we need to calculate a bunch of probabilities, it's very easy to do from a joint probability table. Now what we have across the columns are amounts paid in a retail store. And at the head of each row, we have payment method. The intersecting value is an AND logical test. That means from all records, 218, how many of those records had a payment method of PayPal, and an amount between 50 and 99.99? Well, there was 16. In the margin, this is just how many people paid 50 to 99.99. And here, that's how many people paid with PayPal. And in a joint probability table, we take every single number, compare it to the grand overall total, and that gives us our probabilities. Now we're going to do a couple tricks here. I'm going to copy this entire thing, formatting and content. Click Control V, highlight the numbers, delete content. Now remember, every number compared to this, well, the old school method was a relative cell reference divided by the grand overall total. And we had to hit the F4 key to lock it. Then we had to copy. But watch what happens. When you copy a formula and there's already formatting, I copy it down. Well, it wrecks the formatting. Control Z. So the trick we used to do is we highlight everything. Those are all the cells where we want the formulas to go. We hit F2 and then Control Enter to populate that formula into every cell. And it doesn't wreck the formatting. Then we come up to Home, drop down for Number Formatting, and Percent with two decimals. Now I'm going to hit the Delete key, because in Microsoft 365 Excel and Excel 2021, we have dynamic spilled array formulas. So this is how easy the formula is. I highlight every single number I want in the numerator, divide by the denominator, enter, and that's it. Now when you do dynamic spilled array formulas, the formula only lives in the top cell. If you check out the formula bar, we can see it there. But any other cell has a grayed out ghost formula. If I hit F2, well, there's nothing really in the cell because everything comes from that top cell. But Luckily, we're allowed to reference any one of these values in our formulas. Now here's some very common probabilities. We have a single condition probability, an AND logical test, an OR logical test where the categories are mutually exclusive, an OR logical test where there's some overlap, not mutually exclusive, and a conditional probability. So let's start with probability of someone spending cash equals, I just go and find the percentage. It's in the margin. Single condition logical tests are in the margin. Now what's the probability that someone paid with PayPal and the amount they paid was less than 50 bucks? Well, by definition, everything on the inside is an AND logical test. So we find PayPal and less than 50 bucks. And bam, that 11.01. That's our probability. Now when you're doing an OR logical test, the first thing you always do is consider whether the categories are mutually exclusive. And that means there's no overlap. When someone uses Visa, they can't also use MasterCard. Also, you can think of it this way. When the conditions are all coming from the same variable, they're mutually exclusive. In this case, we just add the probability that someone used Visa plus the probability that someone used MasterCard. When it gets to an OR logical test and there's some overlap, the categories are not mutually exclusive, then it gets a little bit tricky. And what this means is if we go Visa and greater than 350, well, right in the middle, that's an AND logical test. That means they did both. If we just added the marginal probabilities, we would be double counting. So we add the two marginal probabilities and subtract the AND logical test. So equals Visa plus greater than 350 minus the overlap. That's the AND logical test. And Enter. 
Now, conditional probability, and that bar right there means given that. So we want 50 to 99.99, given that they paid with PayPal. That means instead of the whole table, we've now isolated everything here, just this row. So we go and find the 50 to 99.99, take that percentage and compare it to the total percentage for PayPal. Whatever the AND logical test is, divided by the margin. And when I hit Enter, that's the probability that we paid 50 to 100, given that we use PayPal. All right, that was a lot of fun with probabilities and joint probability tables. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video. Thank <laughs> you.